It has been a year in the making, involving more than 200 planners from across Air Mobility Command to map out the largest full-spectrum readiness exercise in the command's history, Mobility Guardian 2023. The exercise, which began on July 5th in the Indo-Pacific region, involves more than 1,000 from seven of the participating countries, Australia, Canada, Japan, France, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom, operating approximately 70 mobility aircraft across multiple locations, spanning a 3,000-mile exercise area. U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Joshua Reno, 437th Maintenance Group Deputy Commander. It's important for us as the United States Air Force to demonstrate our cap capabilities to rapidly generate global mobility, uh, but it's also important for us to integrate with our partners because we can't go alone. And we're clearly demonstrating that uh, by coming out here, exercising with our partners and collaborating together, that we are vitally dependent on each other to win this fight. AMC exercise planners partnered with planners from dozens of additional Air Force, Joint and International units to ensure the exercise delivers on its intent to demonstrate interoperability across joint and combined international forces. I think the major takeaway for what we've learned from Mobility Guardian that I want to take away is just how important and crucial it is to prepare for that rapid forward deployment and understanding exactly the lay of the, or the order of battle, if you will, for once you arrive in theater to be most ready to execute upon arrival. Mobility Guardian 2023 is an opportunity to deepen connections with regional allies and partners using bold initiatives as they prove to be one of their greatest strengths and are a key strategic advantage, especially as all eyes are on the potential conflict with China. Thus far, every airman, and regardless of the grade, every airman, officer, teammate that we've talked with has really been leaning into this exercise. Uh, they're taking it seriously, they're owning it, they're proud to be here, and uh, it's, just, it's just been really refreshing to see all the positive attitudes. Jonagan Charfris, KM News.